Hi everyone, welcome back to Indian Online School. If you are preparing for the SOF English Olympiad, you have come to the right spot. In today's video, we are going to explore the Grade 5 SOF English Olympiad. So let's get started. So students, this Olympiad paper consists of 50 questions. And this is for 60 marks. And you are given 60 minutes time to complete this paper. Now coming to the different sections, you have four different sections in this paper. The first section is called word and structure knowledge. In this section, you will be getting the questions from grammar and vocabulary. And each question carries one mark. Now coming to the second section, it's about reading the given passages. You will be given two passages. You have to read them carefully and you have to answer the questions that follow. And here also each question carries one mark. Now, spoken and written expression is your third section. In this section, you will be given some conversations and you have to complete the conversations using the suitable options. And each question in this section also carries one mark. Now, achievers section is your last section. In this section, you will be getting the questions from grammar, vocabulary and conversation. And in this section, each question carries three marks. Okay, so now let's go back to our first section. So for questions 1 to 24, choose the correct option to fill in the blank. For example, if the question is like, I got here at 1 and now it is 2.15. So I've dash here for over an hour. So what have you been doing? Okay, so it should be, I have been waiting here for over an hour. So option C is your correct answer. Okay, so let's go to the first question of this paper. The train dashed slowly into the station at 6 this morning. So here you need the correct verb. The train pulled slowly into the station at 6 this morning. So option D is your correct answer. It means the train arrived. Okay. The train pulled slowly into the station at 6 this morning means the train arrived slowly at the station at 6 this morning. Next. Dash teachers think we have a day off next week. So here we have a noun. Teachers. Okay. So we need uh, hers cannot be used here. One teacher, no, it cannot be one teachers. I teachers, no, it should be our teachers. Okay, our teachers think we have a day off next week. So our is your correct option. I'm looking forward to dash my bike back from the shop. So when you have the phrase looking forward to, then you have to use a gerund. Okay, so it should be option B. I'm looking forward to getting my bike back from the shop. Next, I'm not sure I dashed that film before. So let's watch it tonight. So it should be I'm not sure I have seen that film before. Okay, you're not sure about that. So it should be I have seen that film before. It's option C. Last year went by dash quickly. So you need a correct adverb here. L last year went by surprisingly quickly. Okay, option B is your correct answer. The most dash part of this math is the commentary. So it should be the most interesting part. Interesting is your correct adjective. The most interesting part of this math is the commentary. The restaurant is dash the school and to the right. So now you need a correct preposition. The restaurant is behind the school to the right. It can't be up the school. Okay. And it cannot be along the school or between the school and to the right. Okay. So it's option B behind the school and to the right. They have just seen dash new comedy about family life. So they are pointing to a particular comedy. Okay. So it should be the definite article the that we have to use here. They have just seen the new comedy about film family life. Okay, so option B is your correct answer. It was just before freezing. It is. It was just below freezing dash. It didn't feel that cold. So here, though it is below freezing, it didn't feel that cold. So it should be although. Okay, when you have two contrast ideas, then we need the then we need the con uh, conjunction although. It was just below freezing, although it didn't feel that cold. So option D is your correct answer. 
Now, my mom came to school today. Dash she. So it means you need a question tag here. So you have an action in past, came to school. So you need didn't she. Okay, so this is your correct question tag. My teacher dashed me that I had to get to school earlier. So my teacher told me that. Okay, it should be the option told. Okay, my teacher told me that I had to get to school earlier. Now, let's go to the question number 12. Before you came to help, I dashed to lift the fridge on my own. So what had you been doing? So before you came to help, I had been trying to lift the fridge on my own. So it should be something in the past tense. Okay, it should be I had been trying to lift the fridge on my own. I think that I will have a sleep dash you are out shopping. So here you have the action in ing form. So it should be while you are out shopping. Okay. Now, there seems to be dash interest than I thought there would be. So when you have the word than, then you need an adjective that is in the comparative degree. Okay. So there seems to be less interest than I thought there would be. So option D is your correct answer. I was dash for about an hour before my dad collected me. So what were you doing? I was waiting for about an hour. So option C. I can't get dash how tall your brother is now. Okay, so it should be I can't get over. Okay, so what do you mean by get over? It means you are greatly surprised by his height. Okay, I can't get over how tall your brother is now. I was asked to clean the mess dash after you had all gone home. So I was asked, somebody asked you to clean the mess. So, so we need a phrasal verb like clean up. Okay, so I was asked to clean the mess up after you had all gone home to be option C. I love being a young person with dash responsibilities. So definitely, I love being a young person with no responsibilities. I don't think that is dash I want to go on holiday. So it must be some name of a place or some somewhere. Okay, I don't think that is somewhere I want to go on holiday. So it should, it should be option B. I don't think you need to call dash your party because of this. So here it should be, I don't think you need to call off. So the phrasal verb, verb call off means to cancel. Okay, I don't think you need to cancel your party because, party because of this. So it should be call off, option B. The plants I grew last summer were all very dash shaped. How were they shaped? You need a correct adverb here. They were interestingly shaped. Okay, so it's option A. People dash think it's important to be punctual, but I don't agree. So generally people think it's important to be punctual, right? So it should be people often think it's important to be punctual, but I don't agree. So it's option B, often. I can, I can come and help you dash. It's convenient for you. So it's like any time it's convenient for you. Okay, it should be option B. Since going to a new school, he has kept his old friends at a or an dash length. So this is a phrase like at an arm's length. Okay, it means to maintain distance in the relationships. Okay, so it's option A. For questions 25 and 26, choose the option with correct spelling. Okay, so how do you spell something you can eat? So here you have lighties. Okay, so though the pronunciation goes like lighties, it is not option D. It is option C, L-Y-C-H-E-E-S. Okay, so option C is your correct answer. How do you spell the word that means to come? Ali, it's a narrow passage between buildings, so it can't be the correct answer. Alloy, it's a metal made by... Uh, Combining two different metals, so it cannot be the correct answer. Next, Ali. Yes, Ali means like to come. Okay, so here option C is your correct answer. Now, for questions 27 and 28, choose the correct synonym of the given word. It means you have to find the same, same meaning word. Agitate. Agitate means to irritate. 
to disturb somebody. Okay, so it's option D. Next, bewilder. Bewilder means puzzled or to get confused. Okay, so it's option contain, confess, or confuse, consider. Okay, so it should be option C, confuse. For questions 29 and 30, choose the correct antonym of the given word. Antonym means you have to find out the opposite of the given word. Contentious. Contentious means to cause some disagreement. Okay. So now for that, it, uh, it should be simplistic, replaceable, utilitarian. No, it should be agreeable. Okay. Contentious means like controversial or to cause some disagreement. Okay. So for that, opposite could be agreeable. So option D is your correct answer. Now, emulate. Emulate means to copy or to imitate somebody's uh, success. Okay. So it should be neglect. Okay. So opposite of emulate could be option D, neglect. So with this, we have completed the first section. Now let's go to the second section, which is about reading the passages. For, for, uh, for questions 31 to 35, read the passage and answer the questions that follow. So you have to read this passage carefully and you have to answer the questions correctly. Okay. So choose the best title or heading for the passage. Once you go through the passage, you'll understand the heading for this passage. So here it is history uncovered. Now, the next question is how many buildings are in the developed area? So there are 35 buildings in the developed area. So option C is your correct answer. The spice garden is the most dash of the buildings. So here it is the most ancient of the buildings. Why do some locals not like the development? Because it is a theme park. Okay, so it is like a theme park. That's why the locals, they don't like the development. What does the word inauguration mean in the final paragraph? So we, we are, we are uh, like the word inauguration means opening. Okay, so your option D is your correct answer. So with this, we have completed the first passage. Now, let's go to the second passage. For questions 36 to 40, read the passage and answer the questions that follow. So, read it carefully and answer the correct uh, answer the questions correctly. Choose the best title or heading for the passage. So, for this passage, the correct heading is rodent music, option D. Why do scientists think mice are special? They are special because of their brains. So, it's option B. What surprised the scientists in New York? So, it is mice did two things at once. So, it's option A. Now, let's go to the question number 39. Mice brains are dashed the same as humans. So, their brains are not exactly the same as humans. Okay, so it's option D. What is the meaning of the word infinitesimal, uh, uh, infinitesimally in the last paragraph? So it means smaller than a measurement. So it's option D. So with this, we have completed the second section. Now let's move to the third section, which is called spoken and written expression. For questions 41 to 45, choose the most suitable option to complete each conversation. Adrian. I'm so surprised by my brother's decision, Bob. Me too, it knocked my socks dash. So this is a very famous idiom, knocked my socks off. Okay, so it means you are greatly surprised by something. Okay, so it's option A. It knocked my socks off. Alice, I need a new backpack backpack mine is coming dash so it should be mine is coming apart it means it is in a bad situation or bad condition okay mother i need some water can you get it for me daughter sure i'll get up and get it okay so it should be i'll get up and get it next Craig, if you go dash to the restaurant i'll meet you there so it should be if you go straight or if you go ahead to the restaurant i'll meet you there Beth, no problem see you in a few minutes so it should be option b to go ahead to the restaurant sally we need to hold dash or we'll miss frankie ed oh uh, he's always late for everything so it's like this person is asking you to hold on it means to wait okay so it's option 
D. We need to hold on or we'll miss Frankie. So this completes your third section. Now, achievable section is your third section. So for questions 46 and 47, choose the correct option to fill in the blank. If Ariel's classmate dash on time for her party, she dash so upset now. So here you have if and main clause. So you need to use the correct conditionals. Okay, so here it should be if your if Ariel's classmates had been on time for the, for her party, she wouldn't be so upset now. Okay, so here it is option D. The teachers dash to come out and support the team on the last day of school by the headmaster. So what were they asked, uh, asked to do? The teachers were asked to come out and support the team on the last day of school. Okay, so it should be were asked. Now, choose the correct synonym of the given word fraud. Fraud means something that is filled with something unpleasant. Okay, filled with something unpleasant. So, it can be friendly, finished, frail. Frail means weak or delicate and filled. Okay, so we have a proper word here, filled. So, we will take this as the synonym of fraud. Now, question number 49. Choose the correct antonym of the given word. So you have to find out the opposite of the given word, perpetuate. Perpetuate means to progress. Okay. So now for that, halt means to stop, respond, condemn, to... Okay. So here, condemn means to criticize, to define, okay, define something. So it should be option A, halt. Okay. Perpetuate, to progress, halt, to stop. Now, let's go to the last question of this paper. Choose the most suitable option to complete the conversation. Father, if you have a problem, we need to take it dash with the shopkeeper. Son, why will he be able to give me a replacement? So here it should be, if you have a problem with, uh, if you have a problem, we need to take it up with the shopkeeper. Okay, so the phrase take it up with means, to report the issue, the problem that you are facing. Okay, so here it's option D. Take it up with the shopkeeper. Okay, so with this, you complete the paper of your SOF English Olympiad.